today we will continue to study needling methods. Firstly, methods of the needle insertion. Inserting the needle with one hand. Usually, the right hand is used. Hold the handle of the needle with the thumb and index finger. The pulp tip of the middle finger touches the skin close to the point gently and supports the lower part of the needle at the same time. The needle can be inserted quickly by exerting finger force. From the thumb and the index finger, meanwhile, bending the middle finger simultaneously. Secondly, inserting the needle with both hands. Nailing insertion of the needle. Press beside the acupoint with the nail of the thumb or the index finger of the left hand, hold the needle with the right hand and keep the needle tip closely against the nail and then insert the needle into the acupoint. This method is suitable for puncturing with short needles. Holding insertion of the needle, hold the needle tip with sterilized dry cotton balls held by the thumb and the index finger of the left hand. Keep the needle tip on the skin surface of the acupoint, then insert the needle into the skin with both hands. This method is suitable for puncturing with long needles. Relaxed insertion of the needle stretch the skin where the acupoint is located with the thumb and the index finger of the left hand. Hold the needle with the right hand and then insert it into the area between the two fingers. The method is suitable for puncturing the acupoint located on the regions with loose skin. Lifting and pinching insertion of the needle. Pinching the skin up around the acupoint with the thumb and index finger of the left hand. Insert the needle into the acupoint with the right hand. This method is suitable for puncturing the acupoint where the muscles are thin. The above methods can make the insertion smooth and alleviate pain. These methods are selected according to the anatomical features of the needled area and the depth of needle insertion in clinical treatment. Thirdly, inserting the needle with a guide tube. The guide tube can be made of stainless steel or plastic. The length of the tube is usually 5 mm shorter than the selected needle. The diameter is about 2 to 3 times that of the handle of the needle. Put the needle into the guide tube. Put the tube with needle on the point. Hold the tube and the needle with the pressing hand and then quickly press end of the needle into the point while removing the tube to manipulate the needle. Secondly, we will study angle of insertion. Angle of insertion, the angle formed by the needle and the skin surface is usually classified into three kinds. Perpendicular insertion. Perpendicular insertion in which the needle is inserted perpendicularly means that there is an angle of 90 degree formed between the needle and the surface. This method is applicable to most acupoints on the body. The second is 
oblique insertion. The needle is inserted obliquely to form an angle of approximately 45 degree between the needle and the skin surface. This method is used for needling the acupuncture close to the important visceral or tissues, or the acupuncture which are not suitable for perpendicular and deep insertion. The third is horizontal insertion. The needle is inserted transversely to form an angle of about 15 degrees between the needle and the skin surface, also known as transverse insertion. This method is applicable to the areas where the muscle is thin. Depths of needle insertion. In clinic treatment, the depth of insertion mostly depends upon the location of the acute points. The constitution of the patient and the pathological conditions. For example, shallow insertion is applicable to the needling of such areas as the head, face, chest, and the abdominal region, as well as such patients as infants, people with the delicate constitution or the aged. Deep insertion is applicable to the needling of the acupuncture located on the limbs, buttocks, and the abdominal region, as well as the young and the middle-aged with strong constitution and heavy body. This class, we mainly studied the methods of needle insertion the angle of insertion, the depth of insertion, then see you later.